Good morning. I want to share a thought with you this morning as we're walking through this lovely season season of Advent. I just love it. Um, I want to read from the account of uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth in Luke chapter 1. I recently watched a preach coming out of um, the church that Louis Giglio is the lead pastor of, Passion City Church, um, and it was around this account. And uh, there was just a particular thought that that I drew out for me personally that I, I just want to share with you by way of encouragement today. So first of all, I want to read from Luke chapter 1 and verse 8 to verse 14. This is from the Passion Translation. One day, while Zechariah's priestly order was on duty and he was serving as priest, it happened by the casting of lots according to the custom of the priesthood that the honour fell upon Zechariah to enter into the holy place and burn incense before the Lord. A large crowd of worshippers had gathered to pray outside the temple at the hour when incense was being offered. All at once an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing just to the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was startled and overwhelmed with fear. But the angel reassured him, saying, Don't be afraid, Zechariah. God is showing grace to you. For I have come to tell you that your prayer for a child has been answered. Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son, and you are to name him John. His birth will bring you much joy and gladness, and many will rejoice because of him. So, <clears throat> earlier in that chapter... It tells us that Zechariah and Elizabeth were an older couple and most likely uh, they were older in terms of past the age of childbearing. It says that they were a couple that were righteous and they feared God. It said they were lovers of God and it says that they followed his commandments wholeheartedly. Um, and yet sadly they were without a child, the thing that they dearly desired. I want to look at the meanings of their names, which I think is um, really interesting and, and very precious. Zechariah means God has remembered or God has heard. And I know this because our son Nathaniel, his middle name is Zachary. And um, I had prayed for Anthony and I to have a child together for uh, several years and it wasn't happening um and uh, I got to the point and I got to the age I guess and I thought it's never going to happen our time our time is up um but God had other plans and uh sure enough we had Nathaniel uh so that name means gift from God and Zachary means God has heard so Elizabeth that name means um, covenant of God or oath. So you put those two names together, Zechariah and Elizabeth, and it tells us God has remembered his covenant or God has remembered his oath. Beautiful and so precious. Zechariah and Elizabeth, they'd prayed for a child for a long time and they'd waited for a long time. You know, little did they know that behind the scenes, while they were praying and waiting, God was planning. He was preparing in the heavenly places, nonetheless, um, things unseen for their child to come and be the forerunner of Jesus and to prepare the way for the Lamb of God who would take away the sins of the world. Little did they know that they would be part of the Advent story, the story of Jesus, saviour of the world. I just love it. You know, I want to encourage you this morning. I want to encourage myself too this morning. What are you praying for? Who are you praying for? Does that answer seem such a long time in coming? Well, let's have a quick look at a couple more verses about prayer. The first one is Romans 12, verse 12, which says, Be joyful in hope, 
patient in affliction and faithful in prayer. Faithful in prayer. Then 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 17. Two words in this verse. Pray continually. Another version says pray without ceasing. So God wants us to be those that pray faithfully even when the prayer doesn't seem like it's being answered. He wants us to pray continually. Now let's have a look at 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 12 and it says this in response to those who pray and cry out to God from a place of righteousness continually and faithfully. For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer. I just love it. I absolutely love it. God's, God's eyes are on us. He's watching us. God's ears are open to us. They're attentive to the prayers that we bring before him. You know, and this word attentive, when I looked at it some time ago, um, means simply to be alert and awake, to be watchful, to be interested, to be actively listening, observant and thoughtful. This is our Father God when we are praying for those things that are precious to us and on our hearts. Just as Zechariah and Elizabeth's story was part of God's greater story, do you know, so is your story and my story. It's part of God's greater story and plan. So don't give up praying. Keep being faithful with your prayers. Keep persevering. Now is the time more than ever that we need to pray. God has a plan. God has a time for those prayers to be answered. And in the background while we're praying and while we're waiting, he is preparing for the answer to come. There's a time coming when those prayers will come to the remembrance of God because it's his perfect time and he will send the answer. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you are a prayer answering God, a miracle working God, a God whose way is perfect and whose timing is perfect. And this morning, we place into your hands those situations, those people who, Lord, we want to see breakthroughs for. And we pray, God, that we would be faithful with our prayers, we would persevere in our prayers, and that in your time, we would see those prayers answered in and through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you.